This was a commission project through uh, the city of West Dallas and uh, Wallpaper City, the organization that put through it. I uh, submitted a design, you know, a couple months ago, and uh, it turned out that it was selected, and I went for it. it turned out like people really like uh, the crocodile and bird. Well, it's whimsical. It's something that you know I'm I'm very much inspired by, like the pop culture from the '80s and stuff that raised me and Saturday morning cartoons. I mean, there's a deeper note of like relationships and stuff that happens with the design and uh, maybe unexpected relationships uh, that we wouldn't necessarily see. And that's kind of what you see with the crocodile and the bird, the symbiotic relationship that happens with them, and how that maybe correlates with people and how. You know, maybe we can find some relationships in our own lives if we drop some of our prejudgments. I've been painting professionally now uh, for about two years. That's when I let my day job go and started doing painting and printmaking. Uh, the opportunities to do large scale like this uh, have been intermittent. This is uh, this is the largest piece that I have done, uh, and I'm happy to do it in Milwaukee, in my hometown, home state. I graduated from the Peck School of the Arts here at UWM, so I've been painting since 2002 or so, and like I can go way back to like coloring books when I was a kid and stuff too. It was quite a bit of planning because uh, of the submission process and stuff. I, I mean, in my other work, I tend to be more like automatic and just kind of throw stuff down, but in this case, I had to come up with you know a drawing, a digital painting that I submitted for the approval for the project, uh, and then once it, once it was selected. I ended up doing a small scale 28 inch version uh, hand painted just so I could plot out uh, the plan of how I was going to attack this wall. Uh, then it was obviously trying to budget materials and, and get everything down and whether or not I was going to project it or whether I was going to grid it up there or just like how I was going to do it uh, right down to the action plan of going ahead and start slinging paint on that wall. The projection is a, it, for me it was a time saver basically. It's a, it's a way to take my drawing, I mean my original concept, and just get it up on the wall quickly. I had to do it in like about six, there was about six screens that I had to throw up using the complete distance from the sidewalk to the, to the wall because of the scale of this thing. Yeah, it was just your everyday digital projector, hooked it up to my computer where I had the digital drawing originally, uh, threw up all the line work and just went out, you know, one time, one early morning session, a couple late night sessions to get like the basic layout. Uh, once the basic layout was there and we knew where to get all the priming done, uh, a lot of it came in by hand afterwards. Uh, the first week we got rained out pretty bad, uh, so it was kind of a bummer start, uh, but we had to deal with it. You know, we were out here on kind of some misty days and whatnot getting the priming done just to, just to get uh, the project going. And then, uh, you know, once, once everything was laid out, we really had to like say, this is what I'm going to get done on this day, this is what I'm going to get done on this day, and like just budget my time accordingly to get done in time. Uh, on something this scale, I mean, I honestly thought about doing a lot of the flat colors and stuff rolling in there and whatnot, but because of the texture of the wall and the scale of this, uh, and time constraints, I really went full force on spray painting the, the whole piece. There's a couple areas in the eyes and whatnot where I did some highlights with brush just to have a little bit more accuracy because I am a traditional painter when it comes down to it. But I, I, for this, I completely switched to spray paint to have the consistency across that textured brick and again for time constraints. I mean, I hope this opens it up to some other large scale projects. Uh, I'm obviously going to keep painting like crazy because that's that's my day, my day job. It's, it's been a real honor to do this in West Dallas. The community has been fantastic going by. Everyone seemed to have loved it and like that's all I'm really hoping for is like people have a smile when they see it when they go by. If they want to delve like dive deeper into like what the meaning is and stuff that's cool but like I'm just hoping to put a grin on people's faces as they drive down Greenfield.